So next we're going to talk about the CP2 grip. Um, and the CP2 is the softest performance grip that we make at Golf Pride. Uh, but there's a lot of technology that goes into the CP2 because anybody can make just a soft grip. Um, and and that's, that's easy enough and some people like that. But at Golf Pride we try and build performance into every one of our golf grips. Because at the end of the day if you look at our full product range, somebody on some global tour is using every one of our single models. Every one of our SKUs is used on some tour somewhere in the world. And, and no other grip company can say that. So one of the cool things about this grip is the control core. And when I talk about a control core, I'm talking about this piece right here. And this piece is made of very, very firm material, but this is on the inside of the grip. So you can see right here that the end cap, it goes down a couple inches. And again, this is very firm. And we'll take softer material and shoot it around this firm control core in the cavity and everything gets chemically bonded together. But what this control core does for a player is when you're swinging this grip right here, you're putting a lot of torque in this upper area right here, especially when you're starting the downswing. So when you start that downswing, you're making that transition move down, a lot of force is being applied right here. And this really, the control cord negates any twisting or torquiness that you would get if it was a completely homogenous piece of soft material. Because when we developed this, we actually molded these without the control core. And when you swung this without the control core, I mean, it literally felt like it was jello on a stick. There was a bunch of movement going on. You didn't know where the club face was at, and it's a very scary thing. And that's what good players do not like. They want to know exactly where that club face is at during the swing, and that's what this control core allocates to the CP2 model. So it has soft material. It has the control core built into every single model. And they also, all of the CP2s, has a reduced taper profile. So when I talk about that reduced taper, in the lower hand, it just doesn't taper as quickly. So it's built up a little bit, already out of the mold. So you don't have to build this grip at all. It's just going to be a little bit bigger in the lower hand. Okay? So there's two different models with the CP2. When I talk about models, again, the material is the same. It's just more of a styling preference. The first one is the wrap style, the CP2 wrap, and the second one is the CP2 Pro. And when we talk about a wrap style, it's very much like the Tour Wrap 2G where um, you know, they're skiving that cascades around the grip vertically. But what's different about the CP2 versus the Tour Wrap 2G is the style of the wrap. And I'll quickly draw that out on here because when you look at a Tour Wrap 2G, and this is a Tour Wrap 2G right here, and this is what people think of when they think of a wrap style grip, but the wrap on it is a scallop style, right? So it's like that. So your fingers fall into these little skives right here, or indentions that are created on the grip. But when you look at a CP2 wrap, this, the wrap is a little bit different. And I call this a flat wrap, like this. So there's no scalloping. It's more of a flat wrap. So it feels more like the, the pro style, but there is small little pieces in this grip to allow your fingers to kind of nest into there, the skin. It's just a different feel versus the Tour Wrap 2G. Clearly it's a different material, but it's a different wrap style that most people don't know. But it makes this thing very, very comfortable when you hold it.